In this video, we'll show you how to apply to the Kaisha Research Health Corps through our online system in eight steps. Registration. First, access our online system via this link. If you're already registered, please log on with your email as your username and password. If you're new to the system, register as a researcher or CSO if you're a project leader, principal investigator or civil society organization for the project's proposal. Once you accept the privacy policies, you'll be ready to set up your registration. First, search for your organization's name on the list. If you can't find it, register it by clicking here. Next, you can fill in the user information. We recommend selecting English as the communications language preference. Validations are processed in this language. Now you can complete the rest of the user information and submit it. Finally, check your email's inbox. You'll receive an email with instructions to activate your profile and complete the registration process. Home page. Once registered, you'll be able to enter the home page in the application system and start processing your application. Anytime you need to update your profile's information throughout the application process, you can do it here. To start the application process, on the home page, click on Open Calls and choose the Kaisha Research Health Call. Here, you'll find the manual for submission and the rules for participation, which we suggest you download and read. If you meet the pre-eligibility criteria, you'll see the Apply Now button at the end of the page. Click on this and you'll be redirected to the first tab of the application menu, General Data and Proposal Information. Now complete the information in this first tab. We recommend that you choose the keywords to define your proposal very carefully. These keywords will determine the remote reviewers that will assess your project who are international experts in their respective fields. Should you have any doubts, take a look at the example. Once this tab has been completed, save it and click on Continue. Please note that some information from this tab will be locked once the form has been saved. Should any locked sections be modified at a later date, all the members of your project will have to accept their invitation again. In any case, these sections can be modified here at any time. Now you have access to all the tabs for your project's application on the top bar menu. These are Scientific Excellence and Impact, Project Team, Budget and Declarations. Invitations. Before filling in the rest of the tabs, we recommend you invite the partners of your proposal to include them in the project. Go to Invitations and fill in the details and role of each partner. You can invite users who are not yet registered in the system and also users who are already registered. Two important points regarding invitations. First, should your partner already be registered in the system, make sure you invite them with the same email address they're registered with. And second, according to the rules for participation, you can't invite two people who belong to the same organization. Once the information has been saved and the people invited, their invitation status updates from Draft to Invited. Now it's time for partners to accept their participation in the project. On screen, we are showing the steps that partners need to take in order to accept their invitation. There are two steps to this acceptance. First, they need to click on the link in the email they receive and accept the invitation. Any users that are not already in the system will have to register. Second, partners must go to their home page. In the Actions section, they see the project's acceptance as pending. They need to open the action. Then, they can access the proposal information by clicking on Actions. Now they can either accept or decline it. Once the project acceptance has been accepted or declined, its status is updated. Going back to what applicants see on the system, 
As project leader, you can always see your PIs or CSOs on the project team tab under Members of the Project. If you scroll all the way down, you'll find the project acceptance status of each partner. We remind you that, in order to submit your proposal, all statuses have to be either accepted or discarded. Otherwise, they must be removed from the proposal in two locations. First, discard the project acceptance in the Project Team tab. Second, delete the invitation on the Invitations menu. Now you're ready to save the draft. One last reminder about project acceptances. Every time a partner is discarded, all the other partners will have to re-accept their participation in the project, repeating the second step of the process. Gantt chart. As project leader, you have to create the Gantt chart for your proposal in the Scientific Excellence and Impact tab. Record the different tasks involved in your project and enter the details. Remember that tasks can only be scheduled within the three years of the project's duration. Once the information is complete, save the draft to see all the tasks in the list and Gantt chart. Budget table. The budget for your project also needs to be entered in the system. Click on Open to fill in all the details. Before editing the table, we recommend you first click on Save to ensure the table automatically adjusts to your project. The partners of your proposal will only be visible in the table after they've accepted your invitation and you have saved the budget table. Remember, you must fill in the table using the English numbering system. Moreover, we strongly recommend you add comments to describe all the concepts contained in the budget. You'll always find a summary of your budget concepts on the Budget tab after clicking on Save Draft. References and Publications In the application system, the proposal tabs contain sections where you can enter articles related to your project. The first is in the Scientific Excellence and Impact tab. Under the References section, you can list a maximum of 30 references related to this section of your proposal. The second is in the Project Team tab, under the Publications section. Here you have to add one to five articles for each PL or PI related to your proposal. The process for adding articles is the same for both the references and publication sections, so we'll only explain how to add publications. First, you need to add the articles by clicking here. We recommend you directly search the articles using the Tools button. Should your article not be found, you can always add the details manually. Through the search, you can find PubMed, Scopus, or Web of Science. You can search by the title, author, or keywords such as the DOI, for example. Select the articles and click the plus button to create the transaction list. Click on Create Transaction to add the article to your proposal. Now you can view the articles added to your proposal. Close the window and click on Save Draft on your application to see the publication list updated in your proposal. You can add more articles by clicking again the plus Add button and repeating the process. Initially, the articles added have no order number. You need to click on Edit Publication List. And you can confirm the order established and move the publications up and down using the drag and drop feature to order them as needed. Once the ordering is completed, close the window and save draft. 
Up to this point, the process is identical for articles added to both the references and the publication sections in each specific tab. However, there is an additional step in the case of publications, which involves including the articles in the table of your publications related to the proposal. When you include the DOI, the order number of the publication in the list appears automatically in the table. Then you can add a statement describing the significance of the article for the proposal. After this step, the process of adding publications to the proposal is complete. Remember, you'll have to update this table after modifying any of the publications or their order. Organization Manager At this point in the application process, we recommend you validate the proposal to check whether you are missing any information or step needed for submission. In order to submit your project, there's another actor involved, the Organization Manager. The organization you apply from needs to endorse your proposal. If your organization is not active or doesn't have an organization manager, you'll see two warnings at the top of the page. On screen, we are showing you now the steps that organization managers have to take. Should your organization not have an OM assigned yet, register one following the steps from the registration section of this video. The OM must register for projects related to life sciences or social sciences. Fill in the information and complete the registration. Once registered, the OM needs to complete three steps. First, upload the accreditation document, which must include the signature of the legal representative and their ID, and the ID of the OM. The second step is to get approval from La Caixa Foundation. The third and last step involves completing the necessary information on the organization profile. Once these three steps have been completed, the OM needs to access the home page and endorse the proposal by opening the proposal action and giving their authorization. The proposal is now endorsed by the OM. Submission. Once the OM has given their authorization, the proposal is approved by the organization for submission. The warnings at the top of the applicant's screen should have disappeared, so the only thing left to do is to validate your proposal one last time in order to detect any possible errors. As we've already mentioned, it's a good idea to repeatedly validate your proposal throughout the application process. Once validated, click on Submit to send your proposal. After submitting, check your email's inbox. You'll receive a confirmation email and see on your home page that your proposal is now under the submitted shortcut. We remind you that no changes will be accepted after submission and that proposals will not be accepted after the submission date. Your application is now complete. Thank you for applying to the Kaisha Research Health Call.